What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that post notification bell so you keep up with the latest of our videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you this video. If you don't fuck with this video, you don't gotta come back. But I still love you for watching it. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, it's true. We're surprising Karen with the mother puppy today i never thought the day would come long story short karen has been begging me to get another pet for the longest time now and i've been against it because we still live in an apartment y'all i'm not the biggest fan of being a dog dad while living in an apartment only because we don't have a backyard you know what i mean but it's true i can still walk the dog and take the dog out every day but i just feel like it'll be easier to have a doggy door and the dog can just go out whenever he wants to, to pee but nonetheless i gave in and i just do anything to make karen happy right now you know mine and karen's 11 year anniversary is tomorrow and i already hear you guys in the comments you should be out here looking for a wedding ring not a mother puppy bro i know i hear you all right i'm on it hold on i'm on it, it just be patient but karen has been wanting a puppy for a long time so today i finally gave in and got her a puppy i'm actually driving right now i'm actually rushing right now i'm hauling ass because i have to pick up the, the puppy at six and i'm on my way to pick up my good friend brian because he's gonna come with me to pick up the puppy should i just tell you what kind of puppy i got or do you guys want to wait and see i'm gonna just tell you i got karen the smallest dog probably one of the smallest dogs that you can find i got her a micro teacup yorkie i found the dog on craigslist and coincidentally the people who are selling the dog is from my hometown you know it was just like coincidence we're close by they were available today for pickup so we're gonna go pick up this puppy and i'm gonna show you guys everything right now i'm picking up brian and we're actually gonna head to walmart or a pet store because i need to pick up all the essentials that you need to buy a mother dog bro i'm gonna buy a collar a leash uh dog food some pee pads the biggest thing i'm not looking forward to is potty training a dog especially it's out of apartment but anything to make karen happy my boy so right now picking up brian we're gonna head to walmart and we're gonna go get this mother puppy bro i'm excited to meet the puppy though i'm really excited the puppy is cute as hell you guys are gonna see him he looks super furry he looks like a big ball of dust like he might not look the cutest right now but it's cool but it's cute with the but it's cool because I actually scheduled an appointment for tomorrow early in the morning to go get the dog groomed. So the dog is going to stay at Brian's crib tonight. I'm going to pick him up in the morning. I'm going to get him groomed so he's nice and fresh and has a, a nice little fresh cut before he meets his new mom, you know? We're getting Brian right now and then we're going to head to the store and I'm going to vlog everything because I know you must be nosy and you guys want to know what the is going on in our lives. So let's do it. You ready, bro? Bro, I am so excited that I was literally parked here front of my house waiting for Eddie for 15 minutes bro. You put some fresh ass shoes on for the new pup or what? <laughs> <laughs> bro Karen just know I'm being a super double Asian right now like I was telling her earlier. Bro that's why I love Kate bro because they both hit me up for surprises. Bro. <laughs> Karen is always hitting up Brian to help her with gifts to get me. You guys were able to tell in my birthday video in Arizona. I'm gonna link that in the description down below. Brian is the one who helped Karen get all those gifts. The earrings, the the babe shirt or whatever. What did you get me? Hold on. The earrings. The earrings and it was the um. I think it was pretty much the earrings. But it was a big gift though, cause you know those are diamonds, so it was like pretty hard to choose from. But I think I did a good job, right? <laughs> Bro, I got hella gifts that that birthday. I got some crazy good gifts. Brian got me a Burberry belt. Like, <laughs> kind of. Rich friends do I have, bro? So today, I'm Eddie's cameraman. I'm super excited to be a part of this. And it works out because we have to go pick up a moon from uh, over there, hometown. Did you say, did you tell him where yeah. it's coming from? So this dog is from Lancaster. I'm a little nervous, you know, that <laughs> this Yorkie's from Lancaster. Bro, so. Brian was like, the dog's from Lancaster? That shit for sure has fleas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. I'm from Lancaster. Just know, Karen, this guy is keeping this dog in my house the whole night tonight. So if the dog doesn't make it through the night, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I can barely take care of myself and Moon, so I don't know about having a dog too, so. Hey, should we go to Walmart or Petco? Um, For the dog, I definitely think we should go to Walmart. Walmart? Walmart just because there's more things you need to buy. Like, you know, you need to buy a little gift basket for Karen. Uh, we gotta figure out how we're gonna put the dog, you know. It, okay guys, you guys comment down below. Is this bad that we wanna put a dog in a box? As a surprise. I think it's cool, right? Nah, I think Karen surprised me with a dog way back then. I didn't um, end up keeping the dog because of some issues that I had, but she had it in, in a box. In a box? Yeah. Well, we're gonna poke a little holes, make sure there's ventilation, you know what I'm saying? Nah, not a closed box. Oh, what shit! The, you know, <laughs> the box has to be open. Damn. So, hey, do you have plans for tomorrow? Like, when do you plan to give her this dog? Because you guys have a whole day. I have no idea. Yeah. So, I was thinking maybe I should take her to dinner first and then surprise her, or do you think I should just gift her the dog mm, in the morning? I definitely think that you should gift it take, her to, take her to dinner dinner you know uh have a whole day with her and then you know what i'm saying like yeah huh? i'll pull up on you with the dog uh, and then be, uh, fuck. not like go with you you know to give it to her but like i'll just go downstairs and just give you the dog or something i'm nervous as 
bro. Oh, yeah. I just was telling what? Eddie that I don't understand how, like, Karen expects to have a whole cat and a dog at the same time. Like, that's crazy. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how <laughs> Kiki's going to react to having a new puppy in the house, but hopefully mm. she falls in love with him, too. But the good part is it's a small dog, so I don't think they're going to go at it too much. If anything, I feel like Kiki's going to bully this dog. Literally not. <laughs> that's my biggest fear is Kiki beating up this dog. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Quick question. What's up? How do you feel being behind the camera? Bro, I feel fucking excited for you, bro. <laughs> I'm literally your best friend, Rob. You know I was fucking more excited than you probably bro, right now. I'm so happy that Brian lives close by because now we get to like, we go on dates and shit. Like, <laughs> you guys follow me on Instagram. We just went on a Starbucks date. We went fucking <laughs> to Sam's Club, got groceries together and shit. Like, come on. Hey, if you guys want to see me dress up as Karen for a day on the K vlog and just be <laughs> Eddie's girlfriend, let me know. Exactly what are we looking for here today, brother? I have no fucking idea, bro. I used to own a dog way back in the day, but the main things we need is a collar, leash, food, and. A bed, fool. Oh, a bed, yeah. <laughs> a bed and pee pads, that's it. Pee pads, yeah, yeah. Should we go to this big ass bed? Bro, the Yorkie is probably like just the corner of this right here, bro. You think it's that small? Bro, it's, it's a micro Yorkie. Look, this is a Yorkie right here. That's no Yorkie, bro. That looks like fucking a sick ass chihuahua from Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, check it out. Something a little small like this, you know, a little couch. Oh, I think that's oh, perfect. Literally. All right. All right. Oh, what about this one? Fur Haven, bro? And a blanket? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm getting this For one. sure, yeah. Get this cheap shit out of here. Should, puppy though. Should we get him a, like a little toy or? Yeah, get him a toy, bro. Um, But what what do puppies be chewing on? He needs teething toys. Teething toys. Right here, no? Yup, yeah. Strong chew toy. Come on. Oh, you need a collar and a leash. Oh, well, you're not gonna be walking this dog outside, are you? Well, yeah, well, he's gonna be shitting and pooping in our apartment. <laughs> That's cool. This is your puppies. Go ahead, what's the, what's the ingredients though? It says puppy. Vet formulated for healthy growth and development. Ingredients, real chicken. Boring! Uh, let's see what else we need. Uh, just a dog collar and the leash and we'll be solid. Oh, oh, Eddie, pull up. Halloween's coming up, right? We need to get him a costume. A costume. What's up with this one right here? <laughs> <laughs> That's so far. A little poncho? Poncho, oh, we can, we can just shop around for something else. Or a little wig, too. A wig on the dog is wild. For those of you who are new to the channel, you guys know Karen loves wigs. Actually, that'd be really funny. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> buy the wig now. Come on. I think I'm gonna buy the wig. I'm gonna buy the wig. Should I introduce the puppy with the wig on? Yeah. Oh, it should no be way. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny, though, for I'm sure. A, I'm gonna buy both. I'm both? Gonna buy both. Get both, get both. So we were hitting up the groomers. We don't even have the dog yet. And then they were asking for a name on what to put the dog under. I was like, uh, uh, and Brian's in the background. Leo, Leo, <laughs> just put it under Leo. Hey bro, Leo might be the name. What do you think Karen's gonna wanna name him? I don't know. Karen's gonna wanna name him some crazy shit. Like <laughs> so crazy ass yeah, shit. Like taco or some shit. Literally bro, like Karen's gonna come up with some crazy shit. This is this one. A fat ass rope one for a Yorkie, bro? No, bro. That's like a straight, like, big dog leash right there. They're all big dog leashes. You gotta get, like, a little, little nice cute one, you know what I'm saying? It's a small dog. Oh, bro, and you need to get him shampoo. Oh, bro, right. so much bullshit, yeah. We're gonna have to wash this dog, huh? <laughs> yeah, bro. Do you wash your ass? I mean, yeah, but it's because I'm so used to having cats, bro. Like, <laughs> you don't shower cats? No, they shower themselves. What the fuck do you mean they shower themselves? Bro, cats, are you serious? Cats clean themselves, yeah. Do they have a towel to use or like like a res certain restroom you guys have for them? No, or? bro, their tongue is like, I don't know how to explain it. Their tongue is just like sharp and shit, so they just make, they're able to clean themselves. Yeah, bro. That's crazy as fuck. That's something I just learned. <laughs> this is a harness. Oh, mm, nah, not a harness. Actually, I did see on my comment section when I used to have a dog that people recommend harnesses because for puppies it hurts their neck. Oh, for real? Yeah, so that might be a good move. All right, fuck it. Let's do the harness. Small. That should small I use the harness? harness that Angel got? <laughs> no bro, way. For those of you who don't know, we just threw Kiki a cat party last video. And my boy Angel, I love you, but he pulled up with a bed for Kiki, a collar for Kiki, and a big ass dog harness. Yeah, like, go ahead and put that one on the screen right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, either that little harness, the, the little string one, or I think something like this would be cool, bro. <laughs> I think this was nice. Oh, it's an extra small, too. <laughs> yeah, I think you should do that one. Yeah. I think you definitely need to get him, get him more toys, bro. I think the teething toys, like, you know, it's a little fucked up right there. Brian, <laughs> Brian says I need to get more toys for him, but. No, yeah, you, you need to get them like, no, no, you need to get them like, like once, yeah, you, you hear that? Those are the type of toys puppy love. Fuck. Damn, that's how you know I'm a dad too, bro. I just be knowing. I right, get him a turtle and I'm gonna get him a monkey just because monkeys are one of Karen's favorite animals. Oh, he's gonna love that one. Right. Dogs love water bottles. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You gotta get more, bro. You gotta hook him up with some more, bro. Two is crazy. Bro, what the fuck? You gotta get him. 
A donut. <laughs> you gotta get the donut, bro. bro. I'm already broke buying this dog. <laughs> yeah, bro, but don't torture him. Is this Elmo? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. It, let's, yeah. get, let's get out of here, bro. We made it to a location. We're picking up the dog already. We're 20 minutes early. I'm nervous as fuck right now. Bro, honestly, I feel like I'm more nervous to be in the back with it after Eddie just told me that this dog might fucking pee on me, so. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling Brian to put the pee pads on him because I remember when we first got Kiki, I was wearing a nice ass, fresh ass Supreme shirt. And I don't know why the fuck I did that, but she peed all over me when I put her in the car, I remember. All right, bro, so we're just gonna wait here. I don't know if we should pull out the camera when the, cause I guess it's the guy's mom pulling up on us. I don't know if she's gonna be comfortable enough to like, be on camera, but we're for sure gonna show you guys when we have the dog. So we just we're just waiting right now, my boy. Also, Moon is on his way here too. Um, gonna oh, pick him yeah. up. So Moon's reaction to the dog is gonna be cute too. I forgot we we're picking the baby up too. <laughs> <laughs> He's only worried about the dog, not my son. Like, yeah, <laughs> we'll show you guys as soon as we have the dog and the baby. Finally picked up the puppy. Look at him, he's so cute, bro. Bro, this is the smallest fucking dog I've ever carried in my life. Literally, bro, he's so small and cute. I didn't wanna... Papi, say hi to the vlog, papi. <laughs> I didn't want to record the owner. Yeah. Um, just out of respect, I didn't know if she was going to be comfortable being on film, but For sure. Moon is in love with him right now. Watch, watch, papi, look, look. Pet him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, hey, Moon likes the dog. You. you guys are having a sleepover tonight, my boy. You ready? Sleepover? Sleepover. <laughs> Touch him again, one more time, one more time for the vlog. Oh my God. <laughs> bro, how do you feel right now? I'm excited. I'm nervous as hell though. I'm Honestly, nervous. I feel like Karen's gonna love him, bro. So what was the owner saying when we picked her up? She was giving me a lot of instructions. I guess the dog is having a hard time eating. Bought like this gel or something that I have to give him if he's not eating. Yeah. But other than that, he's cool. Healthy dog. He just has to get groomed. They showered him. They were so sad giving him to me though. Her daughters are crying. She was almost crying. But I guess they had to sell him because she was buying a new house or something, right? Hey bro, sometimes you gotta sacrifice a little a little bit to, for more gain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean he's gonna be he's gonna be in a loving home. He's gonna be treated like a fucking king at home. So literally bro. And we also gave her uh, the K channel YouTube, so they're oh, gonna yeah. watch little homie grow up on this on the screen. She took the channel so she can like watch him in the videos. And this next video, obviously, she's gonna watch this. Thank you guys, we appreciate you guys. I'm sorry I had to buy him off you though. Cutest dog ever. Let's go. Look how tiny he looks just running around. Bro, he's so small that me and Eddie literally had to like somewhat figure out and use Moon's little like you know net thing for the crib so his legs don't stick out. Just so he doesn't escape, because he's escaped like three times already. He was so chill in the car, like just literally sleeping on the whole way here, and now he's like so active and hyper. Can you believe this is all the bags for the dog? Literally, bro. And then the, the, the lady who sold us the, the dog gave us another bag for the dog food and everything, so that was clutch. I'm so nervous right now, I don't know what. Hey, she said that he was a humper too, that he loves to hump things. And you know what this dumb fuck says? He goes, yeah, just like his new father. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this is gonna be too big on him. Yeah, for sure. You can, you can. Come here, bro. No way! Ah, yeah, it's too, right, too big. That's funny though. Yeah, bro, he's so smart, it's ridiculous. He's a little cockeyed too, but it's alright. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't even want to repeat it, but you dumbass said in the car. <laughs> what did was, you say? I was looking at him in the car and I was like, uh huh. Look, cock at it just like your Theo. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I swear my eyes were straight. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna stay here for the night. Good luck, bro. Thank you for letting me use your crib again. But I'm gonna be here early in the morning to get him a fresh cut and then I might have to drop him back off again. Yeah, bro, Eddie is lucky that I'm a father, bro. I swear. Eddie's lucky that I'm gonna be home with this little guy. Right here playing the whole time because I got nothing but the whole day to take care of him. So I'll take care of him, bro. Don't even trip. Yeah, sure. sure. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to go get him a brush cut and then probably hit the gym or something. Go pick him back up, bring him back here and then take Karen to a fancy ass romantic dinner. And then I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but we're going to surprise him with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, finally made it back home. It's been a long motherfucking day. Uh, Karen is still not home right now. She's still out running her errands and doing whatever she had to do today. But the little dust bunny stayed at Brian's house. I'm gonna pick him up again in the morning and then uh, I'm gonna take him to the groomer or the grooming pet place. I don't know what you call it, but he's gonna get groomed. He's gonna look all fresh and clean and uh, he's gonna look very presentable when he sees Karen. And I'm I'm scared for Karen's reaction. I don't know how she's gonna react. I know she's gonna love him. She's gonna fall in love with him. But the main person I'm scared to get the reaction, like the main, main person is this motherfucker here. This is 
the reaction I'm scared to get. You smell him on my hand? You're gonna have a new brother tomorrow, Kiki. You're not gonna be lonely anymore. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. So tomorrow, I'm gonna get up early, get ready, take the dog to get room, probably gonna hit the gym, and then I don't know if Karen, I don't know what Karen's gonna do tomorrow. Like, I don't know, but I'm gonna take her on this date, and then I'm gonna gift her the, the new member to the family tomorrow night after the dinner date. So, so don't leave the video just yet. It's gonna be a great reaction from both Kiki and Karen. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next transition. For me, it's gonna be tomorrow, but for you, it'll be a few seconds, so. You guys, I've been sitting in this fucking parking lot for like five, 10 minutes. I haven't left yet. This motherfucker is so cute. Like, Aww. look at, look, what, what the fuck? Why are you so adorable right now? All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I just wanted to show you guys one last time. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. I gotta go drop him off and gotta go run some errands. And the next time you guys see him is uh, when I give him to Karen. So, say bye. Say bye to everybody watching. All right, you guys, so I just got a haircut. I got the puppy a haircut. So me and the puppy are both fresh and clean for Karen tonight, you know what I'm saying? My boy. <laughs> but uh, I came to the store because I want to get Karen some roses. So somebody recommended me to come to Vaughn's because they said Vaughn's has like like fire ass roses because I couldn't find anybody close by that sold the, the bouquet of flowers. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? Those big ass, dramatic ass bouquet of flowers. I was trying to get Karen some of those, but um, I couldn't find anybody that was close to me that was selling them. But we're going to go inside Vaughn's. I'm going to take you guys with me. We're gonna try and pick out some flowers. Hopefully they got some good shit. Somebody told me they have some good shit here. So let's see what the fuck they got going on in there. Ooh, okay. They got a nice variety of selections. I don't know if I should get some daisies because these are Karen's favorite flowers right here. That's a hard fucking, fucking decision to make right now. Did I get this blue flower? Nah, it's too simple. I don't know why I call these daisies, but some flowers are Karen's favorite flowers, so we're gonna go with those. And they got some roses. Let's get them. All right, guys, so I ended up getting these big ass fucking bouquet of sunflowers and roses and all kinds of shit. Th these are, this is what Karen likes. She doesn't like like a bouquet of roses. Oh, she's a little weird. I'm probably gonna leave the, the flowers in the car and give them to Karen right before I take her out to dinner. That way it just makes it a little bit more romantic, you know what I'm saying? Like, she gets some flowers, take it to a nice little dinner, and at the end of the night, she gets a brand new puppy, a brand new family member to our family, and then after that, some dick. So it's gonna be a perfect night, you know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know why Karen, she, she would prefer to get flowers like these than to get roses, like I said. I don't know why, I've always been someone that, that got her roses, but she just really, really loves, um, Sunflowers. I gotta start calling them sunflowers. I don't know why I call them daisies. I'm just an idiot. I'm gonna head home right now and I'm gonna get ready. Karen did call me and tell me that she needed the camera. I think she has a gift that she's gonna give me and she wants to record. She hasn't really been in this vlog yet, but you guys are gonna see it right now in a few seconds. Karen literally told me to go upstairs. Don't walk into the apartment. Wait outside the door. Let her know when I'm there. She's gonna come grab the camera and I'm assuming she's gonna vlog me walking in or giving me something. I don't know. But that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we gonna get the fuck up out this car because I'm getting hot as shit right now. It's you? Whoa. Oh my God, don't record me. It looks so ugly right now. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm trying so hard to get ready. I got my lashes done, I got my nails done, I dyed my hair. You're okay. barely getting ready, bro? Babe, I'm trying my hardest and you're wasting my time. Hi, happy anniversary, love you, by the way. <laughs> happy anniversary, I love you too. Hey, you believe we're fucking 11 years, bro? I know. Hey. Honestly, that's like my biggest flex. I was flexing you today when I was getting my nails done, my hair done, and everything. I mean, my hair done, my lashes done. They're like, oh, it's like, what are you doing? I was like, bro, my biggest flex is my man, bro. Like, I don't ever hear nobody talking about, I'm 11 years old, my man. That's right. I'm 11 years old, my man, bitch. And we still happy in love. Just. Wait, you still love me, right? Because I, I love you. Still. I just need a ring. I don't know about you. You need to give me the ring. <laughs> Hurry the f up, get ready. Okay, well, I have a surprise for you. It's actually behind you, so I want to record your reaction. <gasps> ah! Where? It wasn't that good. How did you not see it? What? Oh, shit. I did not see that. Uh, let me sing a song for you. In the eyes Ew, what the fuck? Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. I want the night yeah. for me and you. <laughs> So come here, baby, and let me do it to you. Don't be afraid, cause I won't bite. I promise to give it to you just the way you like. Everybody, Kiki, cause who gon' do it like me? Nobody. Who gon' sex you like me? Nobody. 
body who go your body nobody baby and the thing he's playing on on our happy anniversary Damn, really? what the fuck do you like it I love it. I feel like you outdid me though. You always outdoing me. How? Finish it up. But anyways, guys, I know I look crazy. I know I look crazy. I have like I look so crazy. Oh my god, this is how I look right now. <laughs> I look like <laughs> But anyways, guys, I was trying so hard to vlog today, but I couldn't because he took the camera. And to top it off, I've been so goddamn busy. Y'all should just yeah, if y'all were here with me, y'all would have seen what I mean by busy. But I literally wrapped all of this stuff and I showed how I did all of this on my TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, your mom is a hoe and you really don't fuck with us because why wouldn't you want to see me wrapping all these gifts? Like, come on. But yeah, how do you like it, babe? How many mercy? I love it. Man, it's crazy. I didn't even notice it when I walked in, which is the crazier part. I all I want to say fuck? is that you're going to open these gifts tonight, I guess, because you're, you're able to open them whenever you want, but you're choosing tonight. One of these gifts is funny. And I swear to God, my boy, when you open that gift, I'm gonna beat your ass. Just know that I'm gonna beat your ass once you open that gift. Why? You deserve it. You're gonna you beat my ass? Because I deserve the gift that you're gonna give me, so yes. you're gonna whoop my ass for so opening it? You already deserved it. You still deserve it, but I'm gonna beat your ass because you also deserve that. <laughs> what the fuck? It will make sense later on today. Is it, like, up, is it like some freaky shit? I don't know. Cause I'm down. All right, guys, I gotta hold ass and get ready right now. So next transition is us gonna be ready, ready to go, my boy. How? One hour later. All right, you guys, so we're ready. I'm all nice and spiffy, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Karen's over there looking all sexy too. Sheesh, what are you wearing? Don't look, I'm not ready yet. She's wearing her crack. <laughs> but anywho, I'm gonna run downstairs and I'm gonna get something from the car and I'm gonna bring it up, but Instead of taking you guys with me, I'm gonna leave you guys with Karen because I do wanna film a TikTok also. So she's gonna be vlogging herself while I come bring her what I gotta bring her. And I'm gonna be filming with my phone for uh, TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, all of our platforms is in the description down below, my bye. I know your favorite flowers are sunflowers and uh, you love roses too. I love roses too. I might, whose garden did you go pick these out? <laughs> these are so cute. I don't have any pictures in them. I bet, cause we gotta go my boy. Cause we're fucking late already. <laughs> All right you guys, we made it to our destination. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so hungry. I only had four egg bites today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking starving too. I haven't ate all fucking day. The only thing I ate this morning was, uh, what did I eat this morning? Oh, I ate two hamburgers. I don't know where we're going, but if it's a fancy restaurant, I just hope they have like, like full course meals because I can't have a little ass piece of steak. I'm gonna eat the whole cow. <laughs> No, facts. I'm fucking starving right now. And right, right when I turned the camera off, Karen was like, all right, so where's it at? I was like, oh, no, I've never been here before. She was like, oh, it's, it's right there, no? I said, how the fuck you know where we going? I seen it on the directions, but the name was. It says it right there. I didn't lie. You was going through my messages, huh? Let me when find out, bro. When you go through your messages, if you have your phone on, like, like right here, like a dad, like where they put it right here, <laughs> that's literally where you have your phone. <laughs> All right, so restaurant we're going to, Santa Monica, it's called Lao Lao or Lulu. I think it's Lulu. Lulu, Lao Lao, I don't know. I heard the place is fire. Actually, you know who recommended this place? Who? Brian. All right, bro. Our reservation was at 7. It's currently 7.06. <laughs> so, as usual, we're late as fuck. It's like we're 11 years. <laughs> uh, I will cry. 11 years ago, you literally asked me out. Do you remember that? I do, yeah. Uh, I'm trying not to cry. <sighs> Cry, 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 oh, cry. I'm gonna like mess up my makeup. I'm gonna take a picture. Nah, I just like, it's just so crazy that we were literally kids and we watched each other grow up and now we're full grown adults. Adults. Adults, we're full grown adults. And it's just like so crazy how like, you still love me. Like, are you sure? Is he like, how you like still like me? You still like me, babe? I mean, you cool. Yeah, I'm cool. 
I'll fuck with you. You wouldn't be bringing me over here if you just fucked with me. Is it for the clout? <gasps> Are you clout chasing me right now? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cheers, baby, to 11 years. I love you so much. And I can't believe that we're literally here 11 years later, even though I keep saying that because it's literally like. I can't believe that. Like, who would have known? Who would have known we would still been dating after the first month? Some crazy shit. But I love you so much, babe. And I know I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to you all at the same time. I love you so much, and um, I can't wait to start our new chapter in our life. When I, when I mean my new chapter, I mean like getting married and um, being your wife one day, and also having your kids. And I'm just ready to see what the whole future has told for us. Cheers to everyone who's been supporting us as well, because. I feel like now everyone, all of you guys are a part of our life and you guys get to experience the love that me and Eddie have between us because this is some real shit right here. I actually do love that man. And if you were to ever leave me, I would be devastated. But that would never happen, so cheers to that. Are you getting some deep dick in when we get home? I just want to say uh, I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in a position we are in life today. And I want to give a toast to my beautiful girlfriend, soon to be wife to 11 years and to the deep dicking that you're gonna get as soon as we get home. Oysters. Oh, oh. And I got a Caesar salad, which is actually really, really, really good. That's it, that's dinner. That's all we can afford, right? You're stupid. <laughs> all right, guys, so I didn't vlog, but I ended up dropping Karen back at home on the way home because I had to pick up uh, the new family member over here. Say what's up, bro? <laughs> He's so tiny, he's a little scared right now because he's in the car, but we're gonna take you home to your new mother! Karen knows I'm over here picking up a gift, but the only thing that's bugging me is that she's suspicious about it being an animal. Like, she somehow knows it's an animal because she's been asking for it for so long. I don't know how she fucking is so suspicious. She knows I don't want an animal, she knows. I don't know why she like, keeps asking if it's a cat or a dog. But it's a fucking dog, so she's kind of right. I'm nervous as hell. I'm about to get home. I'm gonna introduce you to your new mama. I love this dog already. Like, I love him. I can't wait for Karen to name him. I'm, I'm kind of curious on what she's gonna name him. It's gonna be something crazy, probably, but he's such a sweetheart. He's super playful, so Karen's gonna love him. I know Kiki's gonna love him too. Kiki's gonna take a couple of days for her to adjust to him, but I know she's gonna love him. But all right, guys, we're on the way home. And we're gonna get Karen's reaction to the new member of the family, my boy. Fuck, let's do it. So I made it home. I called Karen right now and I told her to go in the room and close the door. And as soon as she hears me walk in the home or walk in the house, um, she needs to blindfold herself. So she's gonna be in the room. She's gonna blindfold herself as soon as, she, as, soon as, as soon as she hears me walk in. And I don't know why I'm so nervous or not, I can't even talk. But as soon as she hears me walk in, she's supposed to blindfold herself. And then when I tell her to come out, She's, we're gonna get a reaction. I'm gonna set the camera up somewhere or I'm gonna hold it. I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do. I'm freaking out right now, but. My little babies, my little babies. Oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. All right, when I tell you to come out, come out and I'll walk you, okay?
Kiki ran out of here right now. Kiki ran straight to him and had to throw it back in the room. I knew it was a dog. You lied to me. I know. I was telling him that you were so suspicious about it being a dog. I was like, no way. I'm crying like a little baby right now. Bro, I'm sorry. I got scared as hell because Kiki ran straight to the puppy. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. For how many days? You got him yesterday. I huh? got it. I picked him up yesterday. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. How did you know I picked him up yesterday? Because you told me that you had to send somebody money. Kiki's like, who the fuck is that? Kiki, it's your sister. <laughs> Look, Kiki's face is just looking under the door. Open the fucking door. What is he? Uh, it's a, a Chewbacca. It's a micro teacup Yorkie. Oh, your little boy right here. That's what I said. I was like, does he have a bald spot? <laughs> First thing I said, does he have a bald spot? And they were like, no, it's because his hair is so white and thin that you can see his scalp. But they said once he gets older, he's going to get fuller and he's going to probably change color too. Oh, baby, thank you. <laughs> oh, God, it's okay. <laughs> Everyone's going to say it was a bad idea. <laughs> but I like the bad idea. Why is everyone going to say it's a bad idea? Nah, he's a he's a little dog. They're little, like they don't get big. Kiki's gonna be bigger than him. <laughs> I'm so scared because like, Kiki's gonna fuck him up. I wanted to take pictures. We can you take pictures with me first before I cry with makeup off. <laughs> so cute, huh? He's like Did a cute little ugly dog. Already? Nah, um, no, you have to name him. So we were calling him Leo only because of the groomer, but that's not his name. We were just using that as like a John Doe. It's your dog. He's yours. <laughs> he looks like a little Chewbacca, like a little bear. He's a sweetheart though, he loves to play. Now it's time for the true test. It's time to introduce him to Kiki. Now for all you animal lovers out there who are really obsessed with dogs and don't know anything about cats, first time a cat interacts with another animal, first thing it's gonna do is start swatting at him. So don't get like startled or like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Kiki is gonna take a few swings at him. She's gonna jab him up a few times, but. Kiki, come meet your new brother. Kiki. Come meet your brother. There she is. Come here, mommy. You have a new sibling. You have a little brother. Yeah. Put him on the floor. No, 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 she'll be fine. I don't think she's gonna, she might swing on him a few times, but who is that, Kiki? What's up, dap him up. That's a new brother. Not gonna be lonely anymore, bruh. I don't think you cared. She like, uh uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Kiki, it's your new brothers. Hey, that's a new brother. You're gonna have to get along one way or another. <laughs> put put him in front of her. Kiki. Let's see. I don't want to force them to actually catch her, not like dogs, babe. No? I don't want to do it. I have to warm up to that. It can take up to like a month or two for Kiki to warm up to his dog. Damn, for real? Ah, yeah. oh, fuck that. Just squabble it out right now. Babe, stop. This dog is like one day old. It's so tiny. Whatever beef you have with him, Kiki, you squash it right now. If you need to fight, then fight. But that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now it's my turn to dig into what I got Eddie for his anniversary. Now, I haven't been able to vlog, but it's because he had the camera this whole time. But I did put a lot of thought into my anniversary gifts, so I want you to go ahead and open them. And by the way, I don't know if I showed you guys the flowers Eddie got me, but he also got me this beautiful bouquet, and it's so cute. Oh, you did, huh? You did, you did, you vlogged it. I took it to the store. Yeah. So... You ready, baby? All right. So Happy anniversary. Start with this. You got me a hella shit. All I got you was like a little crusty dog. I <laughs> love the crusty dog already. Sheesh. If you guys haven't had crumple cookies, I actually, or crumble cookies, sorry. I've actually tried them my very first time with uh, Garrick and Brittany when they brought them to the Airbnb for the video we did with them. Uh, it was my first time trying them and that shit was fire. And thankfully we live next to one now. So these look fire. I'm gonna fuck these up for sure. I'm gonna eat them all because Karen doesn't even like sweets. Yeah, they're literally just for you, babe. Start, we'll start with, with the letter. It's your turn to cry. 
It's my turn to cry? Do I read it? No, I also have something. I love you for your personality, but that dick is a really nice bonus? Where the fuck did you find this? <laughs> it really says that dick. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Damn. You want to read all this right now? If you don't want to, it's okay. Today marks 11 years, 11 great beautiful years that I have spent my life with you. I'm sure you've heard this so many times already over and over again that I love you and that you mean the world to me. But every time those words come out of my mouth, those words are filled with stronger feelings and emotions towards you. You are an amazing person, good. God really took his time with you. I love you for who you are and I appreciate everything that you do for me. You are my biggest flex. You really have me feeling like I really do have the best man. I always love to show you off to the world. I can't wait for the day that you make me the, your wife and the mother of your kids. Damn. I'm a little serious. <laughs> I know you only want one to two kids, but I'm praying to God that you change your mind and let me give you four, LOL. I love you with all my heart and I wouldn't want anyone else. I really did get super lucky to have you. You are, are you crying? <laughs> Karen is crying behind the camera. Oh. Uh, you are my everything, you are my safe place, you're my rock, you're my home. I know God has big plans for us and I can't wait to see what, what we do or where we stand in the next five years. I know one day you're going to be the best dad ever and I can't wait to give you that title, baby daddy. You are a big blessing in my life along with your family. I love everything that comes with you, all the good and bad. I can't wait to start the new chapter in our lives. I'm so excited to marry you. I can't wait for the day I say I do. It literally makes me want to cry just realizing how long we've been together. All the beautiful memories we have shared, we literally grew up together and would never ever take you, I would never ever take you for granted, I'm sorry. I love you, baby. And you kissed it. <laughs> Aww. D damn. I'm like, I'm like, somebody pass me a tissue, <laughs> Somebody passed me a tissue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the light turned off. I've been crying since Eddie get, came back home. Somebody give me a damn tissue. My makeup's like getting all messed up. But... I love how like she was messing up and she was just scribbling that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. I had to read it like 10 times because I already know Eddie's gonna be like, you didn't proofread, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Karen has such a bad habit of not proofreading, so she'll send me a text and it'll like miss hella words. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> what? Like, are you texting in English right now? It's because I text hella fast and I hit send without even like checking it. <laughs> There's no money in there, sorry. No, it felt like, it's because the envelope is hard. It felt like there was something else in there. I'm gonna start with the little one first. This is fire ass rapping. Where'd you find this? I did this myself. Because you wanted to say that I went last minute shopping. You went last minute shopping, motherfucker. I actually bought shit in advance. No, I'm talking, what the fuck is, what does that have to do with that? <laughs> I'm saying, where'd you find the gift wrapping? Oh, Amazon. This is fire. I've never seen black gift wrapping like this. What? Is this cologne? I got a Burberry Hero cologne. So for those of you who don't know, I fucking love cologne. Damn, babe, Burberry? Money's good on this? Or what? <laughs> Apparently, you got me a whole ass dog. Put it on the credit card? Put that shit on the credit card? I, put, I bought it with a firm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying no. payments on that motherfucker. <laughs> this is fire. I, I don't know if you're gonna like it, but I liked it. It kind of smells like Senor. It gives me a little bit of Senor vibes, but it's all right. Fuck with it. If you don't like it, just let me know. No, I really like it. Oh, okay, you're gonna wear it like every day now? Not every day, but I don't know. All right then, let's return. <laughs> Can't wear the same cologne every day, babe, but for sure, it's fire. It's a fire one. Damn, babe, you went all out. I love you, what do you want me to say? Remember I told you? No, you fucking didn't, babe. Why are you so mad? I should be mad. Babe, no. I should be mad. Babe, no. You can't be keep doing this. I love you so much and I'm grateful. Don't think I'm not grateful, but baby, it's not that important to me. You know that. I know, and that's why I love getting it for you because I know you don't care for it. Are you serious, babe? What's up with you? I told you not to get me another pair. So Karen, for my birthday, she got me Prada glasses in Arizona. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. I misplaced them. <laughs> I, I would wear them everywhere, that's why. I took them everywhere with me and I went to San Diego 
recently with with everybody and came back home and I lost them. But that's it. Like, it, I wasn't stressing over it. I was like, I lost them. I lost them. Okay. Like, I took an L. Do not get me another pair. Cause Karen, no, I know what the fuck. I know how she is, bro. You see it. It's not about the materialistic stuff. It's just that I know that you lost them and no you feel really bad. Hey, so, you got hey, how they look though. Badass, and I really hope that you take care of these. Sheesh. I actually have the perfect hat. I just bought a hat not so long ago. It's gonna match this perfectly. So I got you that one because I know you like purple, so. Purple's a fire ass color. I fuck with purple. Damn, babe. You went all out, bruh. All right, sorry, we had to transition to the phone, but I thought you were gonna open your packages um, when you had came home, so I was gonna actually have you wear that one today this is to fire. match me. This is super fun. Because I was gonna wear brown, and you know how my other dress had a little bit of that color? So I was gonna have you wear that flannel. I really love uh, flannels and button-ups. One thing about me is when winter comes, I'm always rocking like a hoodie, flannel, button-up, some kind of button-up. I fucking love flannels and button-ups. Thank you, baby. It's just fire, damn. <laughs> You got these for me or for you, motherfucker? For us. <laughs> for us. It's our anniversary. Me, Karen, every fucking day, every single day we ask each other, you got some white socks? <laughs> you got some white long socks? <laughs> no, these are going to come in clutch. Thank you, baby. Oh, damn. Follow with me. Is it shirt? Crew neck? Sheesh! A white crew neck with the, oh shit, it has our date on it. Did you get this made? What the fuck? I seen the K. What the, when the fuck did you do this? <laughs> We're with each other all the time. I this got, is fire. I got my way. It's a medium though, if it fits you small, they said they'll make you a new one. It might fit me a little tight. If you guys are interested in getting custom mates, please hit this girl up. She does them and they're super bomb. It's fire. Fuck with it. The quality is like really good too. I want you to wear that every time you go out with these foods, okay? <laughs> oh, I ripped off the name. It it's said, okay. It said J-O-P Cuff. Co open it carefully, open it down, and read it out loud. It's a bracelet? Can you show them? No, show, show them what it says. It's a bracelet. Okay, now read it. It says, to my men, when you wear this promise bracelet, always remember, wherever the journey takes us, I want us to go there. <laughs> Where you get this, this fucking emotional shit from, bruh? There are things in life that I'm not always clear about, but what I know for sure is you're the one I want to be with. This is the relationship I want to be in, and this is the love I want to last forever. I love you. Are you trying to make me cry? It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's a promise bracelet, like a promise ring, but a promise bracelet. So you better not take that shit off. I got two now. Damn, this is like a heavy one too. Mm -hmm. Good quality, my man. That one almost made me shed a tear. I almost, you almost got me right there, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> that one, you almost had me. This is just for you to be around the house. It is a hoodie. Hey. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a whole set. Hey. Oh, it's a Nike set. What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you hiding this money? <laughs> what the fuck? Let me have some. It's got me a whole ass Nike set. Bruh, I fucking love you, and you're gonna get some good dicking after this, but <laughs> dude, dude, what the fuck? This is fire. This is fire as fuck. I literally heard him saying the other day that he wanted to go to Big Five to buy <laughs> sweats because he, need, he needed some. It's because I have no sweats for the winter. All I have is shorts. So uh, I went to Big Five. I'm sorry, if you like Big Five, that shit is ass. Like, Big Five has nothing. But, um, damn. My man. dad loves Big Five. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> what? Are you selling ass? Are you stripping? Like, where the fuck are you like spending this money and I'm not noticing? Where is this? 
A whole nother set? I just returned it then. No, I, I fucking, I love it. I love it. I fucking love you. What the fuck? But where is the money coming from? <laughs> I was I'm this. opening this for sure. <laughs> fucking. Hey, what'd you open? Drink it then. Drink it. Uh, hey, damn, that shit was good. Damn, alcoholic. No, it's mango flavor. <laughs> I never tried this one. Damn, babe, you really went all up. You went, really went crazy. Thank you. Well, this is just... All jokes aside, you got me some crazy-ass gifts, and you went crazy. Please don't lose those products, okay? Motherfuckers are staying here. And if they go <laughs> out, they're not leaving my face. <laughs> I really lost my You're first You're going to wear pair. them every single day, and you're going to have an indent on your head already? <laughs> <laughs> I really lost the first pair. I don't know. Like, they fell out of my pocket or something. I have no idea how I lost them and where they went. But... Damn, you really bought me another fucking pair. You got, you got a sugar daddy? Let me know. All right, it's the very next morning, you guys. Good morning. Um, how you feeling right now, babe? Tired, but I'm excited because now I'm a cat. And a dog, mom! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Karen doesn't want to be on camera right now because she just woke up. Understandable. But I'm finishing the video off on Karen's phone because I didn't end up putting the camera to charge last night. I forgot. We just knocked out. We didn't even like get freaky deaky. I didn't even give you a good dicking. Like we just went, we just <laughs> went to sleep. To bed and said. <laughs> We're tired. It was a long two days. But guess who's awake too? Where you at? Oh look. <clears throat> oh, you're so cute. He's actually a really, really, really cute dog. Like, he's really cute. He's so tiny, too. He blends in with the floor. He loves licking my toes, too. I don't know why he loves licking my toes. What do my toes taste like? Look, he just won't get off my toes. Get off my toe. <laughs> get the fuck off my toe. All right, we're gonna wrap the video up here. Robert? I wanna say our anniversary isn't over. It's not over? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll give you some toes right now. Hold on. It's over there crying. Um, it's not over. What do you mean it's not over? Yeah, I was telling you to do a movie night. And we can... So that was the plan last night was to come home, open our gifts, um, and do a movie night and have a fat -a -thon. For those of you who don't know what a fat -a -thon is, I don't know if Karen said it on camera before, but it's when we go get a whole bunch of unhealthy snacks, chips, candy, all kinds of stuff. Come home and then we eat all the, the nasty shit while we watch a movie. Um, we just ended up opening our gifts and going to sleep last night. So we'll probably do that tonight. We're going to wrap the video up here, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the no post notification bell too so you keep up with the latest of our videos. If you didn't like this video, you don't fuck with us. At least thank you for watching this video. We love you. Big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and interacts with our videos and who subscribes, follows us, buys our merch. If it wasn't for you guys, a lot of the shit that we do wouldn't be possible. And we just, it's just so crazy that things... Everything that we've said is coming to life and it's crazy. And it's all because of you guys, of course. So we love you guys. We appreciate every single one of you guys and we're super grateful. All right, you guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. We love you and uh, bye.